Hi there, Gemma here. I'm super excited to share this new kit with you. Um, it's here for anyone who loves big statement earrings. Inside, you've got enough stuff to make six earrings. Uh, you'll have some resin and teak wood uh, leaves. You've got some just simple kind of little wooden loops. You'll notice here I've made the earrings different because I kind of enjoy an odd earring every now and then, capture people's attention. I've got these little animal print wooden discs. Then you've got these metal um, matte coated leaves. You'll have some big kind of um, shapes made from a glossy metal. Uh, they're the ones that are also in our geometric um, jewellery kit, which is a bit smaller than this, if you fancied making more earrings. And then there's a little sampler. We've also put in our best-selling macrame earrings. Now, these are actually going to be in another video uh, because we've already got a video for that kit. So I'll put that in the um, comments below. Um, but you, the reason it's in another video is that you could make that shape or you could make this shape or you can make this shape. So if you check out that video, you can decide what you do with your little bundle of rope, a pair of scissors, and then your hoops that you've been given. Now, the one thing you won't have that is in that kit, the other the macrame kit, is a comb. But you can use any comb that you have at home or anything basically with bristles. I've used my dog brush. I've used a tooth brush. I've used all sorts of things. And that's just to finish it off at the end. So hopefully you'll be able to get hold of something at home. But I thought that would be a nice earring to try. So let's have a little look at the kit itself. Let's move these out of the way. And let's see what's inside. So I've taken my little macrame bits out there. And you'll see you've got all your findings here. And then you've got your jewellery bits. Now these studs, the gold ones, for some reason, they do come with this like extra safe um, safety thing at the back. So you just need to pull that off. I seem to be struggling with this one. There you go. Pull that off. And then in the box, there are some little rubber stoppers. So they're the ones that you use to keep it uh, securely on your ear. There's those some gold ones and also some um, hardwood ones. OK, so they're pretty easy to use. I'll show you how to use those now. You've also got some hoops. These are the easiest of everything. In fact, I'm just going to jump in and show you how to use these. This bit goes through your ear. So when you've made your crafty decisions, move this out of the way again, you literally just pop whatever you want on and just bend it over. And then that is how you secure it. I know that sounds crazy easy. The good thing about this kit is that you can just switch your earrings around once you've made them. You could always change it to a gold hoop next time you wanted to wear it. Um, or you could put it on a stud. So once you've made them once, that doesn't mean that that has to be that way forever. So we've kind of talked about those now. So they work for those, those, those. And then I'll talk a little bit more about how you attach these in a moment. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we've got these lovely hoops. So not your cla your your standard um, hooks, sorry. Um, you've got these ones which are a little bit longer, which is why I like them. Okay. Now with all this sort of stuff, if you've not done any jewelry making before, you just need a pair of pliers. Now I use a jewelry making plier, but you could actually use a household plier as well. These are just obviously nice and easy to hold. So when you're opening any kind of finding like this. The key is to raising it, okay? So not pulling it open, you're raising it up away from the base. So it's now up. It's only actually come up a little. I'll, I'll raise it a little bit more. So I'm holding it securely as close as I can to the loop, and then I'm raising it up, okay? That's the best way to open them. Then what you can do, I'll just use this one again, is then you can thread them on. Now that is a little bit problematic. Can you see? It's not able to move because it's too deep there. So this is why I've given you a couple of different sizes of jump ring. The jump ring is just these little circles. And then what you can do is you can attach it to a jump ring. So again, I have to do exactly the same with these. I have to open this up and then I just pop this on. Now what I may find, I always forget, to remember which way around it is, will that sit straight? No, it's going to sit on its side. So if you ever have that problem with the finding that you choose, you do need to add two jump rings to fix it. 
So I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to, with my nails, try and get one of the little jump rings. It's being naughty out of the box. Here we go. So I'm actually gonna put them the other way around. So I'm gonna take this one back out. I'm gonna put this one on. Okay, so I'm just opening this one. Doesn't matter which one I open. I try and open as few as possible. So actually at the moment I've got two open ones. I don't really want that because that's going to be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to close this one back up. So to close it, you can hold one side and then you lower it back down. I didn't do a very good job of closing this one previously. So I'm just going to make sure you just, you want them to be as tight as possible. If the space is big, then obviously there's a chance that they could fall off, which would be a shame. So then I'm going to put a second one on and then I'm going to pop this on here and then I'm going to close it again like so and now what I've achieved is that my earring will sit front ways I'll just double check it feels like it's wrong yeah that's right it's it's uh it's sitting so I see the leaf when I have it in my ears which is lovely so that could be an option for you something like that and like I said that could be attached also the same way for these leaves here and then I'd like to show you how to do these ones. Okay, so these are probably the trickiest of all of them. So all you have to do is take one of these longer wires that you've been given and you just thread it through the hole in the bottom, like so. Sometimes you have to push quite hard. And if it's if it's a little bent, just straighten the pin up first. And then we're going to make a little loop with the top here. So we haven't got loads of room, so you have to be kind of, it has to be quite tight to the surface. So I'm just bending it back almost 90 degrees, as much as I can with my pliers. And then I'm going to take the very tip of it and I'm going to roll it over. Now, I don't want to go all the way because I need to attach it to something before I close it. So I'm just going most of the way. OK, so I've got this little loop that I've created. So it's held securely. And what I'm thinking to do with this one is to add it to one of these studs. OK, but again, to make it move nicely, I'm going to add a jump ring first. So I'm taking one of my silver jump rings this time to match the bar that I've chosen. I'm opening that up and popping that through there. Oh, and in fact, because I did that, I could have closed that previous one. Anyway, you'll get used to it. It's a bit fiddly, jewelry making it first. You've just always got to think ahead what will be open and what will be closed. So I'm just going to go back and close this one. If I can get in there now. Yeah, definitely should have done it first. There we go. All right. So it will spin around a little. If you didn't want that, then you could add a little bit of glue to the top there to make it stop spinning. But I quite like that it spins. I'd then add a stopper on the back and that would be ready to wear. If you wanted to make it even longer and look even a bit fancier, then there are a couple of these little bars in your kit as well. So what you would do with those, I'll put it on the gold stud this time. I'm going to just use my jump ring. I'm just going to use a small one. Again, you can decide depending on the project if you'd like it to be a, a big jump ring or a long one. So you're just going to open that up and I'm going to add that to here. Oops, to here. And then to here. Close it again. Like so. All right, so that's given it an extra little bit of length. I probably need a bigger jump ring now to finish this off. So I'm going to add maybe my leaf to this one. So I'm just going to open this up, add this. Add a leaf and then close it up again. All right, so it's just a longer one. I could have just added that with a jump ring up here or I can extend it and have a drop earring instead. I also could have added this to this stud as well. And that would have been just maybe with a gold pin. Rolled it round and then just before I closed it, popped it onto the stud there. I think that covers everything. It seems, like I said, 
kind of crazily easy. But I took one of the kits home and I was really surprised how long it took me just to make all the decisions. So hopefully you'll have as much fun making all the decisions and making six pairs of earrings. Thank you very much. Bye.